All right, it's 10.25 or so, it's Saturday, and you can tell from the title now, but I told you yesterday in code that today I was gonna try to play every room on the strip, all 11. If you took the first few words of each scene from yesterday's video, uh, after each cut from yesterday's video, those words combined to form the sentence, I'm going to play all 11 poker rooms on the strip tomorrow. If you don't believe me, go back and watch it, link at the top of the screen. I pulled that off, gave you a hidden message. I don't think anyone caught it. Two interesting things about today. One is that it's not just a matter of getting to all 11 rooms efficiently. That would be in itself uh, an interesting problem to solve. And actually bees are very good at that. Bees are very smart. They have some facial recognition abilities. Um, they use hexagons in their hives, which is one of three shapes that tessellate and they could figure out combinatorics like this. Um, they do it in a way, it's not really a guess and check, but they kind of figure out a very efficient way and realize that to get the most efficient way isn't worth all the extra time it would take to figure out the right path. They kind of figure out a very good one on the on a limited amount of trial and error, and they just stick with that one. It's very efficient. UPS actually a few years ago, I don't know, 10, 15 years ago, figured this out also. Way less maintenance on trucks, way less gas they use. You know, each truck has like 150 stops or something a day, something like that. And the order to use is very important uh, for purposes of lowering the maintenance and lowering the gasoline needed. So I parked here at Harris. I'm gonna get a drink, go to Venetian first stop, and I think it'll work out my car being here at Harris later. You'll see later. But I'm not gonna make you go back and parse through that video. So here it is, all cut up, that sentence I told you in code. I'm going to play all 11 poker rooms on the strip tomorrow, and if you missed it because it was quick, here it is one more time. I'm going to play all 11 poker rooms on the strip tomorrow. Venetian poker room right behind me, first stop. The plan today is an hour in each room, not a hard and fast rule, mostly because Sahara might not have a game, might like start a three-handed game and break after like 30 minutes. That happens sometimes, but going for an hour in each spot, first stop is Venetian. All right, time at the bottom. Uh, played an hour, five minutes, hit the hour, finished that orbit, lost $28. Uh, heading back, I guess my plan is to go south hit every room south of here, walking and taking trams, and possibly the monorail. I really need to try Sahara at like 8 p.m. That's one of the problems, one of the obstacles with today. Sahara has to have a game, and if there is, I need to be there. Shout out to the guy I met recently at South Point. I was playing table five, you came up to me, it was very quick, never got your name, but you said you watch all the videos, so glad you're enjoying them. Caesar's Poker Room right past the sports book. Uh, two of 11. Gonna get my hours in here, my one hour in here, and then head to Bally's, I guess. Bally's or Bell next. 131, had to wait a little bit to get my seat, and then uh, play it an hour, and then finish that orbit. A uh, pretty good game so far, Venetian and here. Here, two guys were making the games great. One, well, both of them eventually lost everything and left after uh, one or two rebuys, but good games, heading to Bellagio now. One hour, six minutes exactly, made three dollars. Uh, the biggest hand I played, was against one of those two guys making the game great. Got all in pre, ace king versus king 10. He managed to get a chop on the run out, so. Would have been nice if that one went my way, but it didn't. Uh, on my way to Bellagio now, and I might, you know, I need to leave some rooms available that will definitely have games at like 3 a.m. Because wherever I am at eight, I need to go see if Sahara has a game. Uh, so I might kind of skip on the way south Aria and MGM maybe, play Bell, play Bally's, try to hit Mandalay, and uh, see what time it is, because uh, I really, really need to get a seat at Mandalay and Westgate. Those two places could have one or two games, and like a list of four, which is the most annoying number, because it's not enough to start another game, but it's a really long wait if I'm fourth on the list and I need four people to get up. So that could happen at Mandalay and Westgate and Sahara just really needs to have a game. I have to check it out in prime time. Oh, as I go through the revolving door. So, oh, there we go. I'm not a skeleton anymore. Um, so yeah, I might skip Aria MGM on the way down and come back hit them later at like 3, 4 a.m. They'll definitely have games. All right, play Bellagio. Three down, eight to go. What's funny about Bellagio, I know, uh, the drawer in the room where they keep the, the extra food, not like real food condiments. People get room service 
on those uh, tables with the wheels or just any food when they don't use the tiny like packets of ketchup and stuff like that, napkins, chopsticks. I know the drawer they put all that stuff in. So I got a little bottle of ketchup and a much, much smaller bottle of Tabasco sauce. This is tiny, the ketchup. The ketchup I can understand. You could like actually put ketchup on stuff. There's like some ketchup in here. The, the Tabasco is tiny. It's really, it's like one, it's like one, two drops and that's it. But these are the bottles, the size bottles of Tabasco they have. So I might try to give them out to people in uh, Bally's and if I can't, just use them as uh, card protectors. I was using the ketchup as a card protector in Bellagio and uh, the, the Tabasco is not as good of a card protector, but you could still do it. As you look at all these suckers stuck in traffic on the strip, I'll tell you, uh, an hour, four minutes, I think it was, and I made $6 at Bellagio. So off to Bally's, you might call it Horseshoe. Right over there. 4.38, uh, done with Bally's. Going into Paris, get another drink, then taking the monorail. Eventually making my way to Mandalay. Hope there's no long wait. A little longer wait at Bell and uh, Caesars than I expected, but nothing bad so far. Westgate and Mandalay are the ones that I really think could mess me up. It would just take a very long time. Played exactly one hour, lost $13. Um, it was a solid table. Nothing really happened for me. Probably the least amount of hands I played uh, of the four so far. And I remember hoping a couple years ago Trooper did this. I don't remember if I asked him to. The thing I asked him to do, which he didn't, was to play all five daily tournaments at Bally's. 375 total, $75 each. Um, my, the part I would be looking forward to if he did that would be just how exhausted he was at the end of the last one, because it would take all day. It's like nine o'clock, noon, three, five, and eight. You'd probably have to late reg for something if you went deep in one, but you'd be able to fit them all in, but it would be a pretty long day. As I wait for the monorail, I was at a Caesars between like 12.30 and 1.30 or something like that. Two guys got to the table, older guys, and they said they just came from dinner. It was 1.06 p.m. and they said they had just finished dinner at 1.06 p.m. Like 66 minutes after noon. 1.06 p.m. They were done with dinner already. A few months ago at a Westgate, a guy said he just came from dinner. It was 4.45, still ridiculous but like believable. I don't know if these guys were messing with me or if they really did it. And when I asked, dinner? It's one o'clock. Nobody heard me, so I tried. I tried to get some real answers, but their hearing was also shot, so couldn't get any.